Telco Cloud is actually the private branch of the cloud computing, comes under the private branch of the cloud computing. So as we have just discussed that a private cloud infrastructure is an organization's own data center, uh, which is being built um, on the requirements of the organization. So there are many reasons through which an organization need to build their own infrastructure. For example, government regulations, security, compliance, or cost effectiveness in the long run. So Telco Cloud is actually that private cloud which is used by telecom operators with some customizations in the hardware, kernel, and networking for telco specific applications. That means the private cloud infrastructure built by telecom operators or telecom vendors to match the workload requirement of their applications. So telco applications has a specific kind of uh, requirement in hardware, into the Linux kernel and into the networking. When you customize these three, th three things as per the telco applications, then you build a telco cloud. Now, if I visualize the telco cloud, then it will look like this. So we have already saw this diagram. This is a typical LTE network in which we have RAN and the core network, right? We have discussed this uh, just uh, in some, some of the previous video. Now, this is my telco application inbuilt with traditional hardware, right? So uh, this is a this is a telco application without any cloudification. I mean the traditional telco node. So let's assume if this is uh, if this is let's say uh, an NSGW or a GGSN for that matter, okay? Wherein you have a proprietary hardware rack and you have these cards and there is a software which is running inside the cards. So everything is proprietary. We have a proprietary hardware and a proprietary software. Okay, this is before the cloudification of the telco, telco nodes. Now, when we cloudify this, so it has been cloudified like this. So the in place of the hardware, we now have a data center rack, which we call as a cloud rack. And there are a lot of COT servers or Linux servers available. On top of Linux servers, we have created virtual machines. So every card here, so here you have one to 14 cards. So every card here is now a VM, is now a virtual machine here, okay? And a group of VM, a group of virtual machine is called as a VNF. So basically if this node has 14 cards, so I will create 14 VMs here and a group of those 14 VMs will be called as my GGSN VNF. Okay, so VNF is virtual network function, which is nothing but the cloudified telco node. And to manage those virtual machines, you need a management system, right? So OpenStack is that management system. By OpenStack, you actually manage your VMs and in turn, the VNFs. So VNF is a group of VMs and VMs are managed by OpenStack. So this kind of arrangement can be called as an OpenStack managed cloud. Going further with the advancement of these cloud technologies, now VMs are being replaced by containers. So every VM here now can be replaced by a container. So a VM based image is now converted into a container based image. And on the same hardware, we can create hundreds or thousands of containers. Okay, so containers have uh, some advantages over virtual machines, uh, which is not scope of this discussion. But you can assume that this card here, any every individual card here, which was which was being converted as a VM here, can be hosted as a container here. Okay, so a group of such container is called a CNF. That means a containerized network function. And containers are being managed by Kubernetes. So just, just like you need a management system or a manager for your VMs, you also need a manager for your containers. So the manager for containers, the mostly mostly used, the most used managers for container or a container orchestrator is Kubernetes. So that's how you manage your CNFs going forward.
so from 5g onwards most of the almost all of the telco workloads are being deployed as cnfs including your cloud ran also so this whole procedure can be clubbed into a concept called as nfv so nfv which is network function virtualization is the name of the concept the concept is the cloudification of the traditional telco node into virtual workload and vnfs and cnfs are nothing but the name for your traditional um, for your cloudified telco node okay so this thing is now a vnf here and a cnf here now as we have understood about telco cloud so let's compare telco cloud and public cloud 